Hello friends I am Advik Chilsagar and today we are going to solve the exercise of standard 6 lesson number 4 disaster management part 1 so without wasting time we will solve the exercise question number 1 what are the emergency contact numbers of the following a police control room answer 100 b fire brigade answer 101 c ambulance answer 102 d national level single emergency number for disaster relief answer 108 question number 2 what first aid will you provide in the following situations a dog bite answer following are the treatment steps first wash the wound with soap and warm water second gently press a clean cloth over a wound to stop the flow of blood third apply an antibacterial ointment to the wound fourth cover with a sterile bandage fifth watch for signs for infection sixth seek help to doctor if you suspect infection or possible exposure to rabies or if the wound is severe b scratches or bleeding answer following are the treatment steps first rinse the cut or wound with water and apply pressure with sterile gauze a bandage or a clean cloth if blood soaks through the bandage place another bandage on top of the first and keep applying pressure raise the injured body part to slow bleeding when bleeding stops cover the wound with a clean new bandage c burns or scalds answer a if there are minor burns follow these steps first the injured part should be washed with water or held under water second give the victim water to drink third clean the wounds using a cotton swab soaked in an antiseptic solution fourth do not apply oily ointments and cover wound using dry dressings if there are severe burns then follow this step first give emotional support second cover the wounds with sterilized cloth third remove jewelry shoes etc if possible fourth do not touch or burst the blisters on the skin fifth do not apply oily ointments sixth do not try to remove the cloth if it is stuck to the burnt skin seventh get medical aid at once d snake bite answer follow the steps for snake bite first wash the wound with water second give emotional support to the patient third tie a cloth tightly above the wound fourth get immediate medical help e sunstroke answer following are the remedial measures for sunstroke first take the patient in a cool place or in the shade second sponge the whole body with cold water third place a cloth soaked in a cloth water on the neck fourth give plenty of water or liquids like sherbets to drink fifth get medical help question number 3 write the causes of the following a floods answer flood is a frequently occurring natural disaster due to excessive rains in the same place or a river overflows its bank causing a flood the water drainage system in big cities falls short when there is heavy rain 
resulting in choking of gutters and drainage lines. Water overflows in surrounding areas and even enters nearby houses. B. Forest fires. Answer. A forest fire is an uncontrolled fire in a forest, pasture or grassland due to natural or man-made causes. Forest fire spreads at tremendous speed. Some effects of forest fire are first, great damage to natural wealth and biodiversity. Second, it also results in air pollution. C. Landslides or building collapse. Answer. Erosion of soil from deforestation, heavy rainfall and poor land use control addition to slip slopes and to risk of landslides and building collapse. Mining and weathering can also cause landslides. D. Storms. Answer. The formation of high and low air pressure belts in the atmosphere causes changes in weather resulting in strong winds or storms. Some effects of storm are first, great damage in the storm affected region. Second, tremendous losses to life and property. Third, disruption of electric supply. E. Earthquakes. Answer. Movements in the interior of the earth release tremendous amounts of energy. This causes seismic waves leading to movements of the earth's surface like tremors, shaking, cracking up, etc. Such vibrations or quaking in the earth's crust is also known as earthquake. It is believed that besides other causes, man-made causes like mining and construction of big dams can also lead to earthquakes. Some effects of earthquakes are first, destruction of infrastructure that is building, bridges, roads, railway tracks, etc. Second, change in the direction of the flow of rivers. Third, huge loss of life and property thanks for watching my video if you like my video then hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe the channel for new videos thank you